guys, it's PrimeScore from Shockbyte, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer your server onto Shockbyte. Step one, you're going to need to head over to your current server provider and go to your uh, server control panel with them. Now you're going to need to download all of your server files to your computer. If your current server provider is using Multicraft, you can use FileZilla, download the FileZilla program. If you don't know how to do that, we have a tutorial on our YouTube page that you can easily follow and take a look at that and then you can learn how to use FileZilla and then come back here. So once you have, uh, if you have Multicraft, we're going to upload or download our files using FileZilla. And so um, on your, on the server control panel page, if it's Multicraft on the left hand side, it says files and then you can click FTP file access and then use this information right here and input it into FileZilla. So we can open up FileZilla. I already have the information input onto my server or onto my FileZilla. And first step, uh, anywhere on your computer, your desktop is easy. Create a folder. It'll just be a temporary folder. I'm just going to call it server files. You can call it whatever you want. And we're going to need to highlight everything in your current server and download it to that new file. And so all of my server files were downloaded to my computer. If you have a big server, it might take you a really long time to download all your files, depending how fast your internet is. But as you can see, all of my server files are right here. So next step is to head over to Shockbyte and open up your, your brand new server, your the, the control panel of your brand new server. On your control panel, we have Multicraft. And so we are going to need to upload all of our old server files that we just downloaded to your brand new server. And to do that, you can head over to files and then click FTP file access and use this information and input it into FileZilla to access your server. Again, if you don't know how to do that, we have a tutorial on how to use FileZilla. And so I can do that by heading over to uh, uh, my FileZilla and I already have my information put in. So I'm going to connect to it. And uh, so step one. You're going to go back and we're going to make sure we turn off the server because if the server was on, files will not uh, transfer correctly and be replaced correctly and everything can uh, break. So you need to make sure your server is off. And if, you're, if your server is a completely fresh server, then you won't have to worry about resetting it. But if you were doing stuff on your server before you wanted to um, transfer it, we recommend completely resetting your server. And doing that is just highlighting every file uh, in your server directory and deleting it. And so all of my files have been deleted and my server has been reset. And so uh, the next step, the crucial step is to upload all of our server files to our brand new resetted server. So I'm just going to do that real quick. I'm gonna, I don't need this file. I'm going to upload or highlight everything and then I'm just going to upload it to my brand new server. So all of my files have uploaded to my brand new server successfully. And so the next step is to head over back to your server panel and then click start. And so your server is going to uh, boot up and we can check the console and watch it start running. And so, uh, for example, this is the old server that I'm on, my the server I want to upload. So this is what we're going to look for. So I'm just going to disconnect. Look at... Uh, and our server is online, so uh, I can connect to that. Wait, that was the wrong one. This one. As you can see, the uh, server icon updated to it and everything, and I'm joining world. So we should be in the exact same spot that we uploaded. Look, yes, our server uploaded successfully, and everything should work just fine. That's how you upload your Minecraft server from one host to Shockbyte. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments section below. Otherwise, do not hesitate to head over to shockbyte.com and send us a ticket. Anyways, thank you for watching.